Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton. I'm a practicing physician assistant of 30 years in nutrition, prevention, and integrative medicine, author, health educator, and host of this show, The Staying Healthy Today Show. Today's show topic is heart failure and the critical role of coenzyme Q10. Heart failure is the number one cause for hospital admissions in the elderly over the age of 65. It accounts for more than 300,000 deaths each year. Uh, more than 5 million people have heart failure. And it comes from the inability of the heart to either produce energy, uh, but to squeeze out fluid blood to the rest of the body, and there's a kind of a backup. Recently in the American Journal of Cardiology, the heart failure version, uh, there was a several year study which took 100 milligrams of ubiquinone. Ubiquinone is the coenzyme form of Q10. There's two forms, ubiquinone and ubiquinol. Ubiquinone is a coenzyme form, meaning it helps produce energy in the cell. The ubiquinol form is more bioavailable, and it's the antioxidant form. So they took ubiquinone, 100 milligram, three times a day with traditional heart failure treatment, and then they had a placebo group who didn't take uh, the coenzyme Q10 and just had the traditional heart failure treatment. And this is what they found after two years, uh, 300 milligrams a day, a 44% reduction in overall cardiovascular deaths, a 42% reduction in overall deaths, a 45% reduction, this is compared to the placebo group, in the number of hospital stays and a 29% improvement in the classification, it's called the New York Heart Association's classification for heart failure uh, by using uh, the coenzyme Q10. That would account for 120,000 lives saved each year if coenzyme Q10 was routinely used at that dose um, for heart failure in conjunction with traditional treatment. Uh, a world-renowned uh, specialist in heart failure, Dr. Peter Langsham, um, he's a cardiologist who specializes in heart failure, has been studying coenzyme Q10 for decades. Feels strongly that the ubiquinol form is the most bioavailable form, and that what you want to do is get the blood level of CoQ10, which is, I measure all the time. Medicare will pay for it, most insurance companies will pay for it, very easily get done, above 3.5 micrograms per ml. That's to shoot for. And if you're just shotgunning a coenzyme Q10 dose, you would take 200 milligrams of ubiquinol the antioxidant form, twice a day with food with a fatty meal. And that can ballpark it until you can measure, and then you might have to go up or down to get in that range. Now, I'll tell you that 3.5 is above the normal range uh, that you get in your regular laboratory reference ranges. So 3.5 and above. This is very easy to do. So what I recommend, anybody that has heart failure, number one, is take ubiquinol at least 200 milligrams twice a day. If you can get your physician to measure the level, you want to remember to get it above 3.5 micrograms per ml. Very easy. So the summary of this uh, talk I just gave is in the video below, uh, in the video description below this YouTube. I'll have the, the link to the article and uh, a summary of what I just said. So my name is Kirk Hamilton. Sign up for my health letter. You have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.